Hey you all, and good morning. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Orlando, Florida. And even more specifically than that, we are in front of Universal Studios. I was just here not too long ago. It seems like just yesterday we were here for uh, Halloween Horror Nights. But uh, we are returning now, now that it is November, now that it is the Christmas season, here to uh, see some of the holiday Christmas festivities here at Universal Studios. Very, very excited. I think they do a good, uh, Universal really knows how to put on a good uh, seasonal event. Halloween Horror Nights, probably, probably the best um, Halloween event. And I definitely love what they do for Christmas as well. So please, follow me. having the Macy's Holiday Parade tonight. So uh, hopefully we will be able to catch that. It's, uh, you know, obviously a spin-off of the popular Macy's uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade that happens uh, in New York City, but they have their own version here in Florida at Universal. <laughs> Looks like they're filming today in the park. It's uh, something called Station is in production today. I don't see any movie making happening around me, but uh, I guess somewhere in the park they are working on a movie. Of course, wonderful to see the massive Christmas tree erected here at Universal. Of course, the Christmas tree has become a huge part of Universal Studios lore, and that relates to a character by the name of Earl the Squirrel. One year, the, the lights of the Christmas tree went out, or part of the lights went out. When they examined to see what the problem was, they found that a squirrel was living in the Christmas tree and had chewed through the Christmas tree wire. Now, the squirrel was not electrified. It did not die. It did not explode. It was happy and safe, but uh, they were able to correct the problem and uh, that became the thing of legends. And Earl the Squirrel became a fan favorite character here in the park, and the park itself embraced this. And it's said that every year they hide an Earl the Squirrel replica inside this Christmas tree. So let's see if we can find Earl the Squirrel in the tree. All right, doing a little scan here of the entire tree, seeing if see any squirrels poking out anywhere. Okay, I think I've located Earl after much searching of the tree. I just saw him poking out of that hole, but he actually just retreated into the hole, so I guess he actually hides in the tree. We'll stand here and, and watch the hole and see if we can get him coming back out. Oh, oh, here I think he comes. Here he comes. Poking out of the tree. We have Earl the Squirrel with the Christmas lights in his mouth. You can see him emerge there. Ah, oh, there he is. There's a little guy. Oh. Chews right through those cords, but he doesn't, he doesn't even care. It doesn't hurt him. He's all good. Always love checking out the tribute stores they have for the different holidays. They have the Christmas tribute store set up like a department store, it appears. Let's see the elevator right there. Let's see, we have some uh, department store mannequins in here. See, this little girl mannequin has an Earl the Squirrel t shirt. Some fresh cut Christmas trees there, all bound up and ready to strap to the roof of your car. Oh, there's another squirrel. There's squir this place is infested with squirrels. You can see a statue of Santa Claus himself in the middle of the tribute store. Looks like he's saying, shh, don't tell anyone. So for our Jewish friends, we have a uh, menorah there in the window. So they have a little diorama here, a little mountain diorama with sky cars. See the sky car going back to the station there. In this window over here at Philandro's, Actually have a a singing singing nutcracker. Look at that. That's a good that's a good nut cracking mouth there. In here we have a Harry Potter themed area. Some uh, 
Harry Potter plushies in here. I think that's the, the house out there. And was there some sort of badger in Harry Potter? Looks like these are photos that people had taken with Earl the Squirrel. <laughs> this way to Whoville. You can see the man himself, the Grinch. The man who uh, formerly hated Christmas, now is a symbol of Christmas himself. And he's got that classic, uh, The Grinch Stole Christmas book. Now this makes me happy and sad at the same time. There is apparently going to be a Grinch mold a -matic, but it is not ready. It is coming soon, coming soon. And you can peek in the machine there. It still has the, um, the Halloween cat mold in there. So, um, dang, I'm not gonna be able to get myself a Grinch made. Although, um, you know, if, if you happen to be in, uh, in the uh, Universal Studios area when they do have the Grinch available, um, I'd be happy to, uh, to Venmo you some money in order to, uh, sh to, uh, to, to have a Grinch made and uh, to ship, uh, ship the Grinch to me. Cause you know, I normally don't like calling out for help, but man, I need a, I need a Grinch. The Grinch Moldomatic. You can see Max, the Grinch's dog up there, the one horn strapped to his head. These are some Dr. Seuss uh, Santa hats. They got the coil, the, the Seussy coil on them. And just look at this. We have apparently gone full Earl. This is the Earl the Squirrel room, the statue of the squirrel there. The maniacal entryway, you can see one of his eyes swirling in a circle there. Earl, Earl has taken over. You can see the Earl the Squirrel plushie there. What is this kind of hat called? I forget the name, oh, 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 sorry Earl, we're gonna, gonna pit you back up there. I'm so sorry for knocking, knocking you over. Yeah, what's this kind of hat called that, uh, that Earl wears? So yeah, he has become a true celebrity here. You can see the moving display there in the window. The old, like, animatronics they put in uh, department store windows. Yeah, I guess the official name for this room is Earl the Squirrel's Christmas Curios Museum and Emporium. You can see the neon Earl right there. You can see Earl there on the back of a crane as he's being lifted to put the, uh, the star on the Christmas tree. Oh, we have a little Rudolph here as well, joining Earl in his emporium. Earl has a little snack stand in here called Earl's Treats. Like tree, like a Christmas tree, but it's also a treat, like T-R-E-A-T. -E so it's Earl's Treats. See some of the treats here. You can see they have, a, they have Santa in a, a chimney sticking out there, as well as something called a hot cocoa bomb, which I'm not not entirely sure how that uh, not sure how that even works. Does it like explode in your mouth? On the back of the Earl mouth entrance, it says "danger, electrical hazard," <laughs> and you actually can see like the cords hanging out from the back of his eye. Over here in this little uh, trailer, I guess they have the world's best nuts here uh, in Earl's, the Squirrel's Emporium. Also up on top, we got a, a Christmas llama. A glow mold Christmas llama. And this is pretty cool. Here on the trailer, they've got bumper stickers for some uh, fictional roadside attractions, Henry's House of, uh, of Cat Stuff. But look at this, this is crazy. I met Gerg the Llama at Earl's north of the border. It is a literal south of the border parody here at Universal. Oh, I, I love it so much. Some other fictional uh, roadside attractions. Gator Town USA might have gone to Enigma Caverns. It says, I saw the mysterious thing. That's a, a parody of the uh, The Thing out in uh, Arizona. It says, I got scared by a head on a stick at the Hollow Hills Cemetery. That's the, uh, the Dark Ride theme tribute store that they, uh, that they have here 
that they had here for Halloween. And then also the entrance says gone, but not forgotten. Yeah, last time they had a dark ride themed tribute store, now a roadside attraction themed tribute store. I almost feel like they're trying to appeal directly to me. There's a, a, a bumper sticker for the Dead Coconut, the club they had for Halloween Horror Nights. And here's Earl's photo op. It says, take a picture, it will last longer, so let's get our uh, selfie done with Mr. Earl the Squirrel here. Me with Earl the Squirrel. Say, look at his uh, shirt there, it says, I love nuts. Oh, what squirrel doesn't, really? So, so sad about the Grinch Moldomatic, but there is, there is a silver lining here, and uh, I have an Earl the Squirrel mold a -matic. This is unbelievable. Look at him. Look at him there. That's so, oh, so good. Of course, so we will be able to get, we don't, we, we're missing out on the Grinch, but we will be able to get a mold -a of Earl, which may be my new favorite mold -a -matic. All right, let's get our Earl the Squirrel made. Oh, so excited. Uh-oh, looks like it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a leak on the bottom. See ya. See if everything's okay. And there he is. Oh no. See, he's got like a <laughs> waxy. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. He's stuck. No, it's, don't crush him. <laughs> oh no. He's stuck. He's stuck. Uh, let me see if we can see if we can get, uh, get my hand up in there and rescue. Yeah, rescue Earl. Rescue all right, this is perilous, but I think Earl, here. I think he's gonna be all right. Okay. There you go. Oh, there we go. There's Earl. See some of what happened here. Some of the wax spilled out the bottom and created like this little car wax carpet or plastic carpet rather. So I think I think Earl he, he looks like in good form. Otherwise, we just need to peel off the excess plastic, and I think I think he'll be fine. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. That was that got scary there for a second, but uh, but now we have a fine Earl the Squirrel there with his hat, with his yes, he got the electrical cord in his mouth there. So pretty amazing. Okay, so the cast members actually have a a little little stick that they use to dislodge the Earl. Rescue Earl, poor Earl. His hands been sticking out. Working. Here he comes. There we go. Oh! No, I do not know how it's there. And here's Earl Lando Preview Center. I guess this is uh, information on an upcoming fictional uh, amusement park featuring Earl. See, they have the world's largest Quercus Rubra acorn. There's a replica of the giant acorn there. So here's the map for the north of the border theme park, Earl's own theme park. Oh, I love it so much. As I got to say, a parody of South of the Border, which uses the same font. You can see some of the attractions here in postcards. The Trapper Hat. I guess it's called a Trapper Hat. A Trapper Hat Observation Tower. It's south of the border. They have the um, the Sombrero Tower, and I was just up in the Sombrero Tower just a, just a, just a week or so ago. This is amazing. Oh my God, this makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. Also see some rides there. Mistletoe, Mistletoe Falls. This is coming soon to Earl Lando. I guess Earl Lando is a play on Orlando, the city that we are currently in. It's a roller coaster of some sort as well. Okay, I've, I have officially fallen in love with Earl the Squirrel. And there's The Night Before Christmas, narrated by Earl. Some other books here. Spooky Tales with Earl. Earl celebrates Mardi Gras. They do have the Mardi Gras tribute store. Makes me want to come back here, uh, Mardi Gras time. It says, thanks for shopping the holiday tribute store. You can see Earl himself with his little anthropomorphic friends there. A happy little acorn. And uh, up there, a smiley snowflake. Nothing's wrong with being a snowflake. So, I'm so happy to get the Earl the squirrel mold and I almost didn't get it. The uh, bottom of the machine is kind of leaking, so it's creating this excess plastic, making it hard to, for it to come out. Um, I was able to reach my fingers in and pull it out, and then the people behind me made one, and they weren't able to get it, and the, a cast member actually had a little tool that he was like 
digging up in there and just barely got it out. So who knows, the machine could clog up by the end of the day. Um, these Boldomatic machines, these were built, I think, in the 50s or 60s. They're, 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 they're all antiques. So, uh, you know, they always, it's, always, it's always unpredictable. Collecting Moldomatics can be very unpredictable. It could have been just as easy that this machine got, got messed up and shut down for the day. That's what happened uh, where Halloween when I tried to get the creature from the Black Lagoon Moldomatic. The machine was just down. They need, they need constant repair. So, uh, yeah, and then the Grinch isn't ready yet. So collecting Moldomatics is a very chaotic and unpredictable way to collect things. I do, I do try to get all of them, but... Uh, Gosh, sometimes I have to. Sometimes I have to reach out for a lifeline to get some help because it, you, know, you never know when one might be down the day you're there. So uh, yeah, but so just so happy. The Earl of the Squirrel. I'm, I'm so sad I didn't get the Grinch, but this Earl of the Squirrel makes me disproportionately happy. Little tableau here regarding the Macy's Christmas Parade. You can see the balloon there in the design process. It's our donkey and dragons children. They are moving this bus around inside the park. This must be, this must have something to do with the movie they're filming. Yeah, here we see hot set station in production today. Maybe a movie about a bus station. Of course, I'm just speculating there. But uh, yeah, it looks like they're getting the bus situated here. Oh, okay, I think there's some filming going on behind here. Oh, okay, they have this whole little section here. This is where the Blues Brothers usually perform. They have it set up like a little, uh, like a little market. So, uh, when I find out what the uh, actual movie is, I will have to go and see and see if this scene appears in it. Yeah, they always change the names of movies when they actually release them. But uh, yeah, I guess you got extras in there pretending to be shoppers at this uh, little fruit and vegetable market. We have Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco. Actually, it looks just like the Fisherman's Wharf sign in uh, real life. Oh, look at this movie poster here. Bedtime for Bonzo, uh, starring Ronald Reagan, who I believe at one point was the President of the United States. The shape of this building is actually very similar to the shape of a, uh, a clam shack that's on the uh, Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, I remember we ate there last time I was in San Francisco. Now, they did remove the Jaws attraction here to make way for Harry Potter, but they do have an homage. They have Jaws. It, it, again, not the shark's name, but here's Jaws hanging here outside of Harry Potter land. <laughs> Heading here into the Men in Black gear shop. Yeah, they do have some unique Christmas trees in the different shops here at Universal. And I wanted to check out the Men in Black, which is pretty amazing. It's got the giant tentacle wrapped around the whole purple Christmas tree. Then you got little planets as well. There's a little Saturn right there. Let's see if the Five and Dime here has a Christmas tree. So they don't have a Christmas tree per se. But they do have, they have decorated their hearse here with uh, Christmas tree ornaments, some garland, some bulbs, some guy's severed arm. So there's supposed to be an Earl the Squirrel meet and greet over here. I came by twice when it was supposed to start and just uh, no Earl showed up. So, dang, just, I, I wanted to meet, I wanted to meet him. But uh, he did uh, not show up for either time period. So I spoke with a cast member, and he said that the app was showing the wrong place for Earl to meet, that he's by the crepe stand. So let's go see if we can hunt down Earl. Okay, looking for Earl. I see SpongeBob and Patrick over there, but no sight of Earl. So here's the crepe stand. I still see no sight of Earl the squirrel. There he is, there he is. We found him, Earl. Earl! Oh, there he is! I guess I better get in line. <laughs> Earl, I looked all over for you. I'm so I'm so glad I found you. Awesome. How are you doing? How are you doing, buddy? Oh, doing okay? So are you live you living in the tree still? Yeah, you should get you avoid chewing on those wires. Oh, a little bit. Oh, you, you still chew on the wires just a little bit. Twice, twice, three times. 
Four, four, four times? Six, six times? That's a lot. I'm sorry. Oh, it was, it was a pleasure to meet you, Earl. Thank you so much. Outside of SpongeBob store pants, notice here in the window, SpongeBob and Patrick are actually inside. Uh, let's go, let's go meet SpongeBob and Patrick. Hello, Patrick, SpongeBob. Oh, I like your, I like your Christmas tree outfit. And that's a, it's a really nice, that's a really nice uh, Santa's hat there as well. Oh, you guys are so excited. Oh, and I'm excited, I'm excited to meet you guys. How are you doing? Let me get in here. Oh, uh, hey Patrick. Hey SpongeBob. Uh, you guys, you guys have a Merry Christmas, okay? Merry, Merry Christmas. Oh, bye. Bye, Patrick. So recently, Universal announced that they're actually closing this section of the park and uh, redoing it into a, a new attraction. So I figured I'd uh, come over here and say goodbye and actually say hello because I've never actually been into this part of the park. This is Fievel's Playground. I do remember the movie with Fievel. Fievel in it. I think it's called American Story. Is that what it's called? But uh, I, I was a very young child when I saw that. I don't even know if... Uh, modern day children uh, know who Fievel is, but uh, here we have like a, it's like we're a mouse inside of a playground. You can see the fountain up there and uh, pouring down into these cans. Yeah, pretty sad to see some of this stuff go, even though this is only the first time I'm seeing it. Uh, this is the life and times of Wiley Burr. You do like these giant glasses here. It's always fun to uh, be in a you know, be in an area where you can see things from a different perspective, where you can be a, uh, a tiny microscopic person in a uh, giant big world. See the big cowboy hat there. What's a, uh, what's a graphof, graphophone, graphophone? Head in here. Oh, it looks like there's a, uh, it's like a noodle filled area. Yeah, just hanging noodles everywhere. This is Woody Woodpecker's nut house coaster here. Oh, here they come. Are you a screwball? I most certainly am not. And then a little play area called Curious George Goes to Town. It's like a little water splash area. See the fountain there with this Curious George in the middle being just sitting on the stream shooting out of the fountain. Oh, oh, back up. Back up, it almost got me there. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at all that water. Oh, that kid was so anxious. The kid wanted to be, wanted to be soaking wet so bad. There we have a topiary of Curious George himself, carved out of a bush. So this is the new section they just added back here, uh, DreamWorks Destination. I guess this will be the uh, expanded upon, but uh, yeah, let's uh, head on back here and see uh, see what this is. Yeah, I don't know where we're going here. I guess heading into this, this building. Oh, look at this. We know you're the disco ball buddy, but you think Stupor wants a, wants a minute. Oh, now it's a creepy Stephen King novel. A little dance here. So I'm not sure where these characters are from. Um, it's from the Trolls movie. The troll. Hey, Troll! Hey! Why you give me the thumbs down? Oh, what, what's happening? I wasn't in your little creepy, oh, uh, in your little creepy circle right there. Oh, slap, no, slap their butt? What's wrong with you? Oh my goodness. Hey! I can't with you three. I can't. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Hey! We are. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Away. Yeah, that's some good dancing there. Saving that's some good dancing. Again. We okay, have a photo <laughs> spot oh right here. So, I guess so we can. That is how we play all the games. Like it's going to be ugly. Hey! Okay? So you can't be oh, cute. The... Now, you're going to have a hard time here because you're oh, adorable. Great. All right. Ready, Gloria? Love the troll dancing. Three, two, oh, I love one. trolls. Puns. The internet always gives them a bad name. All right, they're bringing some new characters up. Onto the dance floor here. We got another troll. We got, uh, I think that's uh, Borat's character from, uh, was it, Madagascar? And I think there's Puss, Puss in Boots back there in the back. Hey, Puss in Boots. 
How are you doing? Oh, doing good? All right, I guess we're in the selfie spot. Jill. Oh, very nice. Hey. They said they do a dance number every five minutes, and then every 20 minutes they switch out uh, the characters. Hello. How are you? Oh, like she's like the princess of the world. Such, such happy energy in here. Oh, got some new characters out. We got Branch in the house. Branch the troll. And then get the photo spot the here. Yeah. Do love the uh, the troll characters. Like really think they have a cool design to them. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Hello. Oh, very you cool. The photo spot. Hello team. there. What's his name? Alex, I think. Hey, Alex. How are you doing? Meantime, oh, there we go. On a quest. Oh, very That's cool. Right. This is Master Tigress from so Kung Fu Panda. Hello there. Hey. Get those thinking caps on. We have this meetup area where you can actually meet Donkey from Shrek. This used to be at the uh, closer to the front of the park, uh, but they tore down the Shrek 4D uh, show and moved it back here. But apparently they're going to tear it down again because in January this is going to be removed as well. Hello, Donkey. Well, hello, Captain Sideburns. Hey, how are you? I'm great. What's your name? Uh, Jacob. Jacob. Where yes. are you from, my man? Uh, pretty much North Carolina. Pretty much. Yeah. I, I move around a lot. Oh, okay. Why? Active warrants? What's going on? No, no, no. Nothing, nothing like that. I, just, oh. I, I have a YouTube channel. I travel around. I film. Oh, okay. Various roadside attractions, amusement parks, that sort of thing. How's that working for you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty Did good. you ever see the world's biggest ball of twine? I've seen uh, two of them. Or three of them. Three of them? Yeah, three. What about a waffles? Waffles? Like Waffle House? Or oh, I love like Waffle House. World biggest waffle? Or I don't think I've seen the world's biggest waffle, but I've been to Waffle House a few times. Okay. So it is a, it's a pleasure to meet you. It is a pleasure to meet me. Pleasure's all yours. Oh, thank you. Be sure to mash and hit that subscribe button. Oh, thanks, Doc. No problem, <laughs> Captain Sideburns. Appreciate it. See you, buddy. See ya. And honestly, I can't just walk past E.T. without hopping aboard. And our bicycle awaits. All right, so I'm in the front seat here. So we got E.T. in my basket of my bicycle, which is just amazing. And here we go. Here we go, holding tight onto the handlebars as we fly off. In the scientist down there. These people in the back, right there, back of that uh, NASA vehicle. Oh, there's people with flashlights in the bushes. Oh, oh it's another truck. Oh, there's a police truck, police car down there. See that cop. Oh, no, go. oh, E.T. E.T. popped up. Oh, there's these cars. Come on, E.T., let's fly. Oh, see E.T. sticking out of the basket there. Oh, there we go. Flying over, over the city here. My alien friend. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, there's the spaceship. And there's E.T.'s close friend, Botanicus. There he is. Out. Welcome home. Welcome home. I love this ride so much. You can actually see E.T.'s home planet here. Come celebrate with us. Look at this. There's E.T. playing with some smaller baby E.T.'s. See the little guys there hanging off of the plants. Creature there spraying water. All the little baby E.T.'s. Got one swinging there in a vine. Oh, and there he is. Let's see if he'll say my name. Oh, is that it? Is that Jacob? I heard him. 
Oh, landing back on Earth. Oh, look at that. And as we exit through the ET gift shop, we see they do have an ET themed Christmas tree. Well, maybe not ET themed, but it is uh, space themed. You can see different planets there instead of uh, instead of bulbs. Kind of looks a little bit like uh, ET's home planet. All right, Hi, footprints, please. Hello, Optimus Prime. How are you doing? Doing good. All right. Woohoo! Oh, pleasure to meet you. Let's sir. roll. Oh yeah, let's roll. Awesome. Freedom is the right of all humans. I agree. Freedom is the right of all humans. Welcome, recruits. You honor us with your alliance. Get another view of the uh, filming going on today. Let's see the big expensive equipment over here, the Hollywood style cameras. Got some people standing around. See them actually breaking down the set uh, from earlier today. This, again, it was set up just like a, like a farmer's market or a street festival. Looks like they're taking all down, taking the tents all down. I think it's time to find a location on which to view the Christmas parade. I think I'm gonna park myself right on the curb here. All right, I think the parade should be coming by any minute now. The feeling in the air is palpable. See the ladies here gliding by their giant dresses. Oh, look at this, we got a happy, happy snowman there. Oh. Hey, snowman, how are you? Oh, some nice snowman dance in there. We got these snowflake ladies, very tall snowflake ladies. Oh, they're doing some sort of circular snowflake dance. Of course, what would a Macy's parade be? It's that giant balloons cruising down the street. See some, those are like minion dancers there. In their yellow outfits. Whoop, come back together. There you got a minions Christmas tree float. I do like that giant, giant stuffed teddy bear in the stocking floating by there. There on that float. It looks like it's Gru from uh, Despicable Me, I guess. His family or those his kids. It's been a very long time since I since I've seen it, but I think that's his uh, his family there. There we go, passing the present there. There we have the penguins. I believe they are from the uh, the film Madagascar. I'm doing his little penguin dance there. Penguin dirigible floating by. Some uh, monkey dancers there. Oh, doing a little monkey. I think they're monkeys. Maybe they're weasels. I don't know. I think they're, yeah, I think there's like lemurs maybe. So that must be the king of the lemurs there. I that saying just now. You better watch out. not cry. Some more of the Madagascar characters the lion there with the Santa Claus hat up top and you got the gingerbread man from Shrek coming by there's one of the three little pigs there because that's the one that built his house out of gingerbread which seems even worse even worse than straw watch out back here we got uh, those are the three blind three blind mice they have candy canes for their uh, walking sticks, and I think that is, I think they're hanging out with the uh, the big bad wolf there, who's uh, dressed up in grandma's clothing, because he killed and ate the uh, the grandmother. But he's still, you know, he's still in the holiday spirit. You know, we don't worry about things like that around Christmas time. Hello, blind mouse. How are you doing? Careful. Careful, don't fall down. High five. Oh, we wanted a high five. Oh, there's Donkey.
Mikey. We met we met him earlier. Donkey! Over here! Have a Christmas tag in the town! Here's a really cool float. It's uh one of Donkey's children. One of the, the children that he made uh, with an actual dragon. A donkey dragon hybrid there. Who are these? Are these the uh, angry angry villagers here? They don't seem so angry. They actually seem like they're they're in a pretty good mood. Bus! Bus, I like your boots! Oh nice. Got a Christmassy hat in the season as well. Hello there. Oh, and here we got Shrek and Fiona there. Looks like Shrek dressed up like Santa. We got the dragon there on the uh, on the back of the float. Oh wow, that was pretty cool. Another one of those amazing uh, donkey dragon children. There's some blocks there. Looks like they spell out toy. Toy. That's. What... Oh oh. Oh, I think, oh, when they turn around, they spell joy. We have Raggedy Ann and Andy there. Well, some other toys. Look, oh, look at they have, they have like wind ups, wind up cranks and, and pull strings on their backs. The Nutcracker up there, as well as, I uh, love that retro toy robot there. It's pretty cool. Oh, I love the dancing, dancing robots here. So cool. Hey, robot! Hey there! Hey, rubber ducky! As we check out this giant nutcracker, you can see it's actually starting to snow a little bit. Merry Christmas! Thank you. Merry Christmas! A lot of very tall people in this parade. You can see the reindeer there. Oh there, look who's coming. Oh yeah. Santa there. He lit the Christmas tree as he went by. And oh now the, the confetti coming from the heavens. Oh, someone. Oh, look at that. And there he is, the man himself, Mr. Santa Claus. Santa! 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 It's an absolute amazing parade they do here at Universal. Christmas tree has become completely illuminated. Santa used his magic to light it as he went by. And there's our boy Earl coming out of the tree with his with his uh his blue lights in his mouth. And I did just want to check back in on the Moldomatic machine because it does look like it is out of order for now. Of course they could have it fixed back up tomorrow. I'm not sure. It just shows just shows how unpredictable the hunt for Moldomatics can be. I did want to give a moment here just to pay my respect to the Universal Monster Cafe. The cafe was torn down months ago, but they still did have a drink stand with the Universal Monsters on top. That is now removed. So uh, is the end, end of an era. They do have a Christmas tree here in the main Universal store. It's actually shaped as a giant nutcracker. And I did want to pop into the Universal Legacy store uh, before we left. And here, right next to the Jaws Moldomatic machine, we have the uh, Legacy store Christmas tree. And just <laughs> look at this. It's actually just covered in extinct attractions. <laughs> You've got the uh, Back to the Future ride, which is extinct. You've got the uh, semi up there from the uh, Earthquake ride. That's an extinct attraction. Of course, Jaws, another extinct attraction. Have the uh, sailor's hat to go with that. And then uh, 
Kongfrontation, the King Kong ride. We have uh, King Kong himself in the Christmas tree, a celebration of uh, attractions they unfortunately uh, got rid of before I ever had a chance to ride them. Yeah, the things in this tree, they have, uh, they have dead eyes, they have black eyes, like a dove. So thank you for joining me here tonight at Universal Studios. Unfortunately, Jen uh, could not join me this evening. She was not feeling very well, so uh, she had stayed behind tonight. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching this. I definitely love uh, the Universal uh, holiday celebration. And yeah, I, I love Earl the Squirrel. I, I, love, I love how something like becomes legend and then makes its way into reality. But uh, thank you so much. If you like these videos, please subscribe. It'll let you know when new videos arrive. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more we will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins. We have the brand new Carpetbagger Merman pin in the Etsy shop. And all that goes to help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the back.